Hello everybody, Vince Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the Modern Day Italian Campaign featuring the Millennium Dawn mod. In the last episode, we launched our invasion of Japan. Uh, we pushed pretty far into Japanese territory. We, we unsuccessfully, we were unsuccessful in our attempts at landing here, at least initially. We did get forces landed here in the north. We pushed along the country. We forced Japan to capitulate, and that uh, basically gave us enough war score to end the entire war. We went through the peace conference, and we are now pretty much done. NATO is gone. Everything is now part of our um, faction here. There is another faction. There's a couple of them. There's the African Association faction here, and there's the African Union faction there, which We'll be dealing with Africa um, over the course of the rest of the game. Uh, we have to deal with Saudi Arabia. We need to punish them for sending volunteers against us. I think Sweden also did. So we probably need to deal with them. Um, I think like Saudi troops are actually in Quebec that gave us so much trouble um, getting our forces landed over here in the east, so yeah, they gotta come up and it's coming. Alright, but what we really need to do right now is get our armies and everything reorganized. I went around the map and I cleaned up everything, but um, we're gonna have to start bringing our boys and girls home and uh, seeing what we're going to do next. We have forces arrayed here over against North Korea, which I think we're going to go ahead and begin justifying a war goal against North Korea. Might as well. Um, Pronto, the other thing we might actually do here is start putting forces. Remember, there was a bit of an issue here. Pronto, signore. On the border... Of Mongolia. Attento. You guys will actually concentrate right over here. Comandi. I'll put you guys on the front there. All right. These Marines. You know what? I guess we'll put you guys on a front over here just to give you something to do. All right, so all of these armies are dealt with. Uh, these garrisons no longer have anything to do. So we can go ahead and delete all of their orders. What we would do is actually gonna say garrison there. Delete all of your orders and tell you to garrison here. Delete all your orders, order you to garrison there. That's fine. Attento. You guys are actually going to merge into that army. We're going to delete all of your orders and we're going to tell you to garrison Pronto like garrison here. Pronto, signore. And you guys delete all of your orders and just garrison here. Garrison here. Just to get them all to gather up. Alright. Armor Brigade. We need to start thinking about um, the Middle East here. We need to take down Israel and Palestine and Jordan. I think we're going to incorporate Jordan into our empire. We're going to take Jordan. So, uh, you guys. 
I want you in the front here. You guys, I want you in the front. There. These 60 divisions. Oh yeah, we need to bring Kuwait in. Set up on the front there. You're actually fine to stay there. Uh, these guys need to come back. I think what I'm actually going to do... I'm going to bring them over here. Mountain infantry. Uh, right now... I was going to tell you to garrison over there just so you can come over. Marines. There's a garrison somewhere over here. Just so they'll move on their own. That's why I'm doing it this way. Just to get those forces to move on their own over rather than having to micromanage them. So get them over into this continent and then we can we can deal with them from there. Alright, you guys wanna stay there. You guys can stay there. You guys can stay there. You guys. I think what we might do is put you on the Swedish border. Along with you, we'll put you over here. There we go. Alright, everybody should start moving. Alright, now the other thing we need to do is we need to begin bringing in the fleet. Pretty much all of our... See, the first carry group it was doing nothing yet. Yeah. All of our fleets. Fifth carry group. Roman Netherlands needs the European Union. Well, the European Union doesn't exist anymore. Does the Sixth Carrier Group have carriers in it? Yes, it does. Nil Reserve stays here. Patrol Fleet. We're just bringing everybody home so that uh, I can reorganize all the fleets primarily. Four. Looks like five got destroyed at one point. You can make a new five. First, second, fourth, fifth, sixth. So this should probably actually be the third carrier group. So the guys are all coming in. Now we also have airplanes or 
air squadrons all over the place. Um, which we can move them around as we need to. It doesn't hurt anything to have them where they are. For example... We are going to need some aircraft. Over Saudi Arabia. We're going to want some aircraft. Over the Palestine area. These guys can probably move a little bit closer. There we are. Um, actually having these aircraft out here are going to be good for dealing with Sweden. But we don't need this, for example. These 500 planes can go here. Get over southern Sweden. Along with the 200. Close air support. Strategic bombers. Sure. Looks like we have armies in place now. And plenty of room for more. Alright, so you guys are coming in there. Bring you guys down here. Formazione. They are there. Pronto, signore. Thought for sure I had more armor than this. Formazione. Sixty divisions. Fifty six divisions of infantry. Hmm. All right, let's bring them down. We got a lot of repairs to do. We still can get some construction done. Tons and tons and tons of political power. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to flip on the uh, repair. There we are. Construction repair. Focus. You get those repairs done faster. I have 283 nukes. Wow.
All right, so. Let's begin justifying a war goal against Mongolia. And Saudi Arabia. We're going to puppet Saudi Arabia. And then we're going to take all the rest of the Arabian Peninsula and give it to that puppet. Now, can I make some adjustments here? Because right now we're on service by requirement. Uh, we can go to, I think, extensive conscription. I think I probably want to go all the way down the limited conscription. 800,000 manpower reserve should be plenty for what we're going to be doing for the rest of this game. Set up my battle plans. should oh, I had to justify a war goal there conquer Gaza we can't go for it thought I had well, for sure had a claim but for now we'll just go ahead Oh, I don't have a war goal. I have a claim. Take claim state. Hold on for a moment. Cancel justification. Take claim state. There we go. That's going to be a lot faster. All right. There's only one level of infrastructure there. Four percent, nine percent attrition. Zero percent. This one's the problem spot. I think what I might need to do is take this army for the time being and move them to Baghdad. And take this army Pronto. temporarily. Move it to Cairo Avanzate. until our war is ready. All right. 
So. All of our fleets are back. Let's just move Naval Reserve in there. Ah, solidification is complete. Hold on for just a moment. Um... You guys are going to merge together. I don't need that patrol fleet anymore. Alright. We will get to work on that uh, a little bit later. Right now we need to go ahead and take care of North Korea. Uh, what do we, who do we have in position? These guys. So it's aggressive. We have this armor as well. So it's aggressive. And we're gonna need planes, yes. occurs to me that I have no army in South Korea right now. Well, we're not going to bring South Korea into the fight. Declare war. No, we're actually going to need to bring South Korea into the fight. Aren't we? Call China Arms. You guys go. You guys go. Uh, they're calling in their puppets. All right, now we're going to call to arms South Korea. So we're about to take Pyongyang. We just took Pyongyang. And war is over. Kingdom of Korea. You... I think we're going to need to... Need to pass a bunch. There we go. Done. All right. So those armies. Formazione. We're going to move them over here to Mongolia. All right. 
So, now, back to this fleet. I'm going to get rid of the carrier groups again. So we just have the sub fleets. to bring them all back up to at least 30 ships. If we can, of course. Ships. Oh, grab them all again. Don't want to do that. Uh, two ships there. We got five left. All right, that did it. Very good. Okay, now the next thing we also want to do is. Cameroon. I need an army I can send to Cameroon. Si, signore. Attento. Formazione. Formazione. Comandi. I think everybody here is busy. I think once Mongolia is dealt with, once Mongolia is dealt with, we need to get down here for Nepal and Bhutan and Bangladesh. I guess once Israel and Jordan are dealt with, See, he's waiting to finish the 12th of May, 2027. Oh, that's four days away. Uh, how does the infrastructure look? Can I support this? I don't think quite so. Ah, uh, research finish for smart ammunition. Let's go ahead and research the ARX 300. Pronto all'azione. All right, well, it's time. Go ahead and do this. Declare war. Declare war. Alright, guys are there. Okay, so this army, go ahead and go. This army, go ahead and go. guys go and you guys go Israel joined the African Union apparently 
Which one was the African Union? Ah, you guys down there. Shouldn't this be a pocket? Ah well, it doesn't matter anymore. Israel has capitulated. Oh, Palestine capitulated, I guess. Take all states. See, because they are at war. Huh. Well, I think this actually works out for me. Pronto, signore. What you guys are gonna do is you guys are gonna head here. These guys gonna head down here. We're gonna start working on Africa. You guys set up on the border with Jordan. Pronto. Along with this army. Pronto. Commandi. I guess you guys can come over here and just garrison this. Make sure our infrastructure is built. Along 3rd of July. Alright, that's actually not too far away. But we are actually at the end of this episode. So, we'll continue working on this. Was this the same thing? 3rd of July, yes. Yeah, we'll continue working on this when we get back. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.